Hi, this is Richie Gajate Garcia, and welcome to the Two Minute Tip. This is going to be on Latin uh, music, but on the cowbells, how to work the cowbells if you're playing a Latin piece. Uh, as you know, in jazz, you use the cymbals. In Latin music, you got to have cowbells. And, uh, and one thing that's really important is that how do you play the cowbells on a drum set because you're playing a bunch of different syncopated rhythms that are done on a kit but re that really come from percussion. And one of the important things that you have to learn is the motion of how to play on a bell. What happens is drummers normally see a, a cowbell facing them when they're at the kit. And what happens is uh, they end up playing just quarter notes when they're playing a, a Latin rhythm. But generally, or traditionally, when you play a cowbell, you play it the opposite way, and you have to learn this motion, which is. So what happens is when you turn it, now you got to play it this way. And that's some, something that's a little bit tricky in playing it on the kit. So it's what you have to develop. Uh, as far as playing the bells. The other thing is, of course, the different rhythms combined, which are uh, um, uh, tricky to get at the beginning, but once you have it, you work it out. It's all independence. It's all different parts played on this. So the motion here on the cowbell is this motion of this, but most people will play it just playing quarter notes, playing. That's fine, but it doesn't have the swing that the Latin music has when you play it in it. It's great for playing really fast. That's fine. But when you have to play in the middle and more of what we would call the dance beat, you want to have this motion, right? So now what happens? That's considered the bongo bell pattern. When you're going to add the other bell pattern, which is the the mambo bell pattern, then it's another rhythm that you would have to play with your other hand, especially when you're the only guy playing. So that pattern goes like this. And the cowbells are uh, your choice as to what you want to use. So when you combine them both, you have. Then to add to that, you would add then the bass drum pattern that you might want to use on a particular piece that you're playing, and if you want to get even more intricate with it, then you would play clave with your foot. So it involves all of this independence. So I'm going to add them one, uh, one by one. Okay, and then after that is adding different things on the kit that you would want to embellish the music board depending on what you're paying, playing. So it would be something like this. And that's basically it, putting it one piece at a time together. So I'm going to play it now with a little bit of music so you can get an idea of how the feel should be when you're playing all of this stuff together. Okay? so. Here we go. <laughs> Mambo time. No. <laughs> <laughs>